seven lap dash for the 2500 bucks so they'll make some changes now and he'll get to see what that does and then he'll know if he's heading the right direction yeah, he for the said, main. He said he didn't think he could hold on to it for every lap of the main event. Well, I it's think a that's why race. he kept looking back to see, because he probably figured Sadoff was about to eat him up. Yeah, Sadoff was right there. So it's time for heat race number two for your singles class. The 59 Australian rider Tom Drain will be on the pole on the Yamaha. Then you got Terran Santero on the 75. Evan Renshaw, the rookie, on the 265. You got the 132, the Supermoto rider. He does the FM, FIM Supermoto World Supermoto. Supermoto, that's Bronson Pierce. Row two, 115, Justin Anselmi, the 19. James Ott, the 131 Evan Kelleher, and the 40 bike from Castle Rock, Washington, Olin Kistler will round out heat race number two. They all make the main event. Top two going to the Outland Dallas Holland Challenge race. We talk about how fearless these guys are. One guy I know for a fact left his fear gene somewhere else when he got on the plane to come here. Is a kid on the 59, Tom oh, yeah. Drain. There's no fear in that He kid. is hammered down all the way, isn't he? Yep, he likes to go fast. He likes using that front brake. He's got a road race background, which definitely helps when you use that front brake. Here we go. Get ready. Hit full throttle. We're underway. And right to the front goes Tom Drain on the Essence in Yamaha. But he's got a big challenge on the outside. He's going to fight the Honda off, and Drain's going to lead him to the jump. First time at speed. James Ott from the second row is already up to third place on the 19. First impressions, Husqvarna. This has been a tricky spot. Very bumpy through here in that first race. And looks like everybody's going to cleanly get through. Drain almost pitches it sideways. That could have been really bad on a nasty high side. Well, especially right in front of everybody else. There would be nowhere to go for second, third, and fourth. He's already opened up a three or four bike lane fleet as we come to the jump for the second time. T Money, Terrence Santero right there. Oh, oh, oh Renshaw, baby. Renshaw lands on the out. grass. And Scotty, we were talking about that during practice and qualifying. There is a very short field of grass over there, about six inches, maybe. And if you get onto that grass, the other side of it to the left is straight down a hill. And down into the creek. Yeah. You don't want to do that for a lot of reasons. Exactly, so you gotta keep it on the racetrack. Again, you can't see the landing, so you can't go too far to the left. Renshaw lands way over there on the left again. Watch it again. Here's Drain almost losing, almost getting that high side coming on the front straightaway. Now, watch Renshaw here. He's the fourth motorcycle. He's on oh, the grass, man, on the edge. That. And did a good job saving it, but he did it the very next lap too. You need to learn from your mistake and don't do it the next time. Yeah, slide it over to the right a couple of inches, right on your takeoff, give you a little more room. And maybe find a different spot for the takeoff. He's still landed pretty far to the left, but that's the quickest way if you can keep it straight. There was Ott having a lot of head shake. He's going to oh, miss this corner. Way wide goes Ott, and he's going to give up a spot to Renshaw. Renshaw comes right through, gets down below the bars because you do tuck it on the front straightaway here, as we talked about earlier. Much longer front straightaway than you think it is. That happened for Ott. The landing on the jump gave him head shake, and he got too much momentum and missed that last corner. That's why he lost the spot. Again, they will all make the main event. Top two going to the challenge race. That's where some extra money is up for grabs. It's Drain and Santero right now. Watch Ott here. So he's on the left of the screen right there. He's already got the head shake going. Actually, it was more in those braking bumps than it was over the jump, and he just no, overcooked right this corner. Right here, he clipped right over the inside berm there. Right, but it started while, yes. a while back. Yeah, so it just carried too much momentum, and that's actually where Dallas Daniels fell off last year, if you remember, in the Super Twins class. There goes Ott up and over the jump. He's back there in fourth. Bronson Pierce right behind. chance of winning the main. Definitely did. did go to the back and had a, had a good recovery. Here we go. Back to the front with Drain. Look how they got to tentatively break that bike down that long front straightaway way before you think you need to let off is where these guys are backing off, letting that thing ease down into that corner with all those bumps down there. Yeah, some, some of the riders are actually downshifting right when they pass the finish line. Right when they pass Big P, they downshift once. When they get a little bit closer, they downshift again to help them slow down. Whoa, oh, man. man. Santero got it really yeah, sideways. He's trying to shake, shake his it. head. He's like, man, what was that all about? Yeah, trying to shake that off as quickly as possible. So Santero wasn't happy after one of his qualifying sessions, was actually signaling to his to his teammate or to his team right here, but he's in a second spot right now on this heat race. Well, just like the first heat race with Cody Kopp, Tom Drain has led every lap of heat number two. And he's back onto the front straightaway. And he's going to bring Tim Estenson a heat race win here at Peoria. 
Santero will hang on for second, and then Renshaw Ott will round out the top four. Boy, Santero with a nice second place finish here, but, but it was pretty sketchy right in here. Look at how sideways he was. Fully crossed up. I guarantee oh. those handlebars were fully, fully hitting the locks, the you know the steering locks, and yep. he just had to hang on to it, and somehow it didn't throw him off. That was a good save by the 75 bike. That put him into the Al Lamb Dallas Honda Challenge race with that second place finish. There you go with your results. Drain, Santero, Renshaw, Odd, Bronson, Pierce, the Supermoto guy finishing in fifth, Kelleher, Kistler and Anselmi rounding out the field of eight. Anselmi only completed half the laps. He did not finish up in qualifying too, so he's, he's struggling a little bit his first time here at Peoria. Doesn't everybody? Absolutely. All right, Kristen, you should have a very confident winner down there with you. A very confident.